Hi everyone, welcome back to Angela's Pilates. Today's workout is a full body workout with the ring or the magic circle. It's a great tool, it's very hard, but let's get to it. So I'd like you to start the edge of your mat, holding your ring. Shoulders above your ribs, ribs above your hips. Breathing in, lift that chest. Exhale, tuck your tailbone under and using your abdominals, you're gonna slowly lower. Try and feel each and every vertebra. Be aware of those tight spots in your spine as you lower your torso and then land your head. Make sure you're on your mat, which I'm not, and place the ring between your thighs. So your feet are a little wider than your hips. Check in, pubic bone, hip bones on the same level, little pocket of air between that lower spine and the mat. Take your fingertips to the base of the skull, elbows in your peripheral vision. Now just let the ring relax for the moment, just the upper body we're focusing on, nod your chin. Exhale and we curl up, trying to get to the tips of the shoulder blades. And then we lower back down, releasing the head and neck. Let's do that in one breath. Exhaling, curling up, eye gaze towards the ring and lower back down. Let's do three more. Breathing out, think about lengthening your head off your neck and then lower down. Two more. Exhale, nod your chin, soften your jaw. Check your navel, make sure you're not popping it out. Last one. Breathing out, curling up. Now let's add the lower body. Exhale, curling up and you're gonna squeeze the ring for me. And then lower back down, feel that inner thigh. No neck strain, nod your chin, breathing out, squeeze, and then lower down. Let's do three more here. Exhale, eye gaze towards the ring, and then lower back down. And again, exhale, two more. This is your last one. Breathing out, I'd like you to hold it here. See if you can lift a little higher. Let's pulse the ring for five, four, in a thigh, three, slow, two, last one, squeeze, lift a little higher, and slowly release down. That's a killer, beautiful. Take the ring now to the base of your skull and land your head down. Place your hands on the top and bring your elbows inwards. I'd like you to lift your right leg, into, uh, your front leg into tabletop, then your back leg. Feel the support of your lower back on the mat. Nodding that chin. Now just let your head relax into the ring as you curl up. So this is a great tool to keep your neck relaxed. So you're using more abdominals than your neck muscles. So just allow your head to relax into the ring, breathing out. Keep your elbows close, activating those trides. Eye gaze towards your thighs and lower down. Make sure you can feel your lower back on the mat. Eye gaze towards those thighs and lower down to just completely relax your head into the ring. Three more, breathing out. Pull your navel down towards your spine and lower back down. Last two, see if you can lift a little higher without popping your navel. Relax the head into the ring and lower back down. Last one, exhale, curling up, lifting up and I'd like you to stay here. Just let your head relax in the ring. Extend your legs to 90 degrees. Make sure your lower back does not leave the mat. Zip up your inner thigh, you're gonna lower your legs as far down as you can go without your back loading. Exhale and then you're gonna pull up, let your head relax in the ring. And again, lower down, we're going for five. Exhale and lift. Three more, make sure you're not letting your back arch, pull your navel down and towards your spine. Two more, lengthen the legs away from your core center and lift. The last one, lower down and lift. See if you can lift your chest a little higher. Now bend your knees. Let's take a quick breather. Release your head. So it should be really help. The ring should really help your neck. Relax your legs. We're going to work now into the obliques. So relax the shoulders. Lift your legs into tabletop. Push your knees a little bit away from your hips. Make sure your lower back is on the mat. Curling up. Reach towards me. Exhale. Rotate, lower back down in the center, and exhale, rotate. So check in, make sure your lower, the back, the opposite hip is not leaving the mat. Let your eye gaze follow and think about your oblique muscles. Breathing out, try and stack top shoulder blade on top of the bottom one. If 
you're struggling with your hips, this is your option. Land your feet. Can you give me two more? Let's go breathe. Exhale and lower down. One more, breathing out and lower down. Beautiful, just pop your ring down to the side. Pop your feet flat, so a lot of hip flex there. Let's try and stretch it out, stretching those abs. Put your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, give me a pelvic tuck to start. Exhale, squeeze your buttocks and we're rolling up. Hitting that long line at the top. Take a moment here. Make sure you can freely move your head, long line, underarm to hip to knee. Take a breath in and replace your spine slowly. Feel the support of your lower back and lengthen your tailbone away. Relax your shoulders. Let's go again. Inhale, feel the support of your lower back on the mat. Activate your glutes, a little bit of resistance with those arms and you're peeling up. Energy coming out through your knees, long line at the top. Take a breath in and then exhale slowly. Replace your spine. Lengthen your tailbone away. We're going to do two more here. Breathing in, push the lower back into the mat. Take a moment, make sure those knees on a straight line, not rolling in or out. Weight even through the feet and lower back down nice and slow. And lengthen that tailbone away, relax your shoulders. And again, one more, pelvic tuck. Exhale, activate the glutes and we're driving up. Hit that long line at the top, breathe in and slowly lower back down. Lengthen your tailbone away. Hug your thighs towards your chest, nod your chin. Give me one rock. On the second rock, let's roll up. Come into some spinal extension. Place your ring, the top end of the mat, and roll down onto your stomach. Make sure your rings are the very edge of your mat. Legs are hip distance apart. Think about your pubic bone and your hip bones. They form that Pilates triangle. Make sure they're on the mat. Take your top arm here, bottom arm underneath and lower down. So try and get your arms as straight as you can. So you might have to shimmy down the mat a little bit. Activate your glutes. Breathe in. As you exhale, extend that shoulder by pushing the, the ring away and then Put it back in and bend your elbow a little bit. Push down with the bottom hand. Squeeze your buttocks and we push away. And we pull in. One more here. We press away. And we pull in. Nod your chin. Now push the ring away. And then as you pull it in, you're going to rotate and lift your chest. Like you're swimming, lift underneath your armpit. And then reach away. Feel that beautiful stretch to the spine. And exhale, we lift underneath the armpit and we reach away two more here exhale we lift and we reach away pushing down into the ring one more exhale we lift and we push away beautiful and let's change so the top arm will come down and the back arm will be here not your chin be careful if you have shoulder issues with this one activate your glutes we breathe out, we pull, sorry, inhale as you push the ring away, exhale as you pull it in. So slight elbow bend. Inhale, press away. Exhale, pull in. Now push a little bit down onto the ring and feel that extension through the shoulder. Now we're gonna add the rotation. We press it away on the inhale. Exhale, you lift up and like you're swimming, hip bones stay on and then we press down into the ring and lengthen away, squeeze your buttocks and exhale, we lift up and we press away, you have two more, exhale, you lift up, look underneath your arm and we have one more, exhale and we lift up and lengthen away, lower the ring, hands underneath the chest, press back into child's pose, anchor your sit bones, lower your forehead, walk your fingertips away. Beautiful, up you come. Let's come into some side line work. So I'd like you to pop your bottom foot in the ring. Make sure you're not quite on your ankle bone, just above your ankle. Lay your body down, place your top leg on the ring. Now square your hips. You want your top hip on top of your bottom hip. Relax your head and neck. I'd like you to lift your waistline here. If you want more support, place your arm here, otherwise you're here. You've got to use those abs to keep your hips still, so make sure you maintain that pocket of air. Let's push down on the ring. Five, four, three, 
two, one. Hold it here, lift your bottom leg up. Make sure you maintain that pocket of air. Four more, three, inner thigh, two, last one, and lower down. Hover that top leg, keep the top hip still. You're gonna take it over, tap the mat, and to the back, keep the hip still. We go over and we take it back. Three more, over, and we take it back. Two more, over, and we take it back. Last one, over, and we take it back. Beautiful, place that top leg now into the ring. We circle forward, four, lift that waistline, three, two, we change, five, four, three, two, one, push up into the ring and both legs lift and lower, relax that shoulder and lift, try not to roll back, push up into the ring, three more, keep the waistline, two, this is tough, one more and lower down and relax. Take that ring out, up you come, and let's do that on the other side. So place that ring just above the ankle, and you're lying down, resting your head on that top leg. Make sure you're not quite on your ankle bone, legs are straight. Lift that waistline. Top leg on top of the ring. We press down, hand on the hip or here, whatever works for you. We press five four, and a thigh, three, two, lift that waistline, one more, bottom leg, we lift up, four, breathe, three, two, one, float that leg off, keep the waistline lifted, we float forward, tap, we take it over the ring and we take it back, relax your neck and we go forward, keep your top hip still, three more, forward, and back, two more, forward and back, last one, forward and back, take that top leg into the ring, we circle, forward and around, within the shape of the circle, lift that waistline, two more, let's go the other way, we go back and around, four, three, feel that glute, two, one, we push up into the top and we float it off, up, Keep the gap here. Relax your shoulder. Four more. And lower. Three. Pushing up into the ring. Two more. Relax your neck. Last one. And lower down. Take your foot out. And up you come. Beautiful. Let's just stretch it out. Take your back leg into the ring here. You're going to lengthen that bottom leg. You're going to pull the leg across. Make sure you don't lift that hip too much and you want to feel that stretch down your IT band. The IT band starts at the top of the hip and runs into the side of the knee. This is pretty, ow. So just breathe. Come back up, change arms. And we take the leg out, pushing into the band. Make sure you don't lift that opposite hip and then come back in and let's change it change legs exhale push into the ring don't lift that hip too much relax your shoulders breathe come back let's change sides make sure you're not lifting that opposite hip relax your shoulders I'm tensing mine push into the ring and up you come now pop both feet into the ring hold on with both hands Nod your chin, use your upper abdominals, and then put on the ring and use your chest muscles. And lower. And exhale, lift. Soften your knees if you need to. Three more, breathe. And two. Last one, hold it up for four, for three, for two. Bend your knees, beautiful. Just release your head from side to side. Hug your thighs towards your chest, and let's rock up. Beautiful guys, hope you enjoyed this magic circle. Love to hear your feedback and look forward to seeing you on the mat next time. Bye for now.